an Alabama woman who was shot while pregnant is charged in fetus's death. Marche Jones was five months pregnant when she was shot in the stomach. Her fetus did not survive the shooting, which the authorities say happened during, dis during a dispute with another woman. She was charged with manslaughter and the death on Wednesday. On Thursday, she was released from jail after posting a $50,000 bond, according to the authorities and the website of Jefferson County Sheriff's Office in Alabama. The police have said she was culpable because she started the fight that led to the shooting and failed to remove herself from harm's way. The case comes amid a heated debate over the right of a pregnant woman and the fetuses nationwide, and Alabama is ground zero for the issue. In December, Ms. Jones was shot because of a dispute with another woman over the father of the child, and so the authorities had to actually rush her to the hospital, where she then underwent surgery. So um, I'm sure... For anyone who hasn't heard this, you have a lot of questions. You're wondering what exactly is going on here. There's no way uh, we've got this right. Certainly the state is confused or we're confused or the newspapers are confused. There's no way a woman is in jail right now because she was shot and, uh, and her baby died. Well, uh, that this is the case. This has been reported on uh, New York Times, um, the Washington Post, a ton of different networks are reporting this issue. However, the story is changed little by little. Um, and so people are very confused about what's going on, but also they're arguing over if the state actually had the right to charge her. Uh, because in Alabama, abortions are now illegal. Um, this woman was shot in the stomach and she didn't go to the, the hospital herself. Uh, apparently, she went to the next county over where police found her and took her to a hospital. People are arguing over whether or not she was trying to hide the fact that she was shot in the stomach and hide the fact that, um, you know, because she was scared of being charged in the first place. So that's why she didn't even seek medical treatment. Uh, and others are saying she was trying to hide this because she was responsible for attacking the other girl. So there's there's a lot of, of confusion um, over this and people are wondering which side to take, the state side or the woman's side, which I find insane. No one should be in jail because they were shot and their baby died. I mean, what else could you say? Like, I, this doesn't seem real. Like, it's so insane. It just doesn't seem real. Like, is... is I mean, what are they thinking? Like, can we try to come up... I, I, usually, I have devil's advocate arguments, right? To try to represent the other side, even if it's difficult. I'm, I don't have anything right now. Like, what, what would you... Like, can you try... So let me uh, present the devil's advocate okay, uh, arguments that I've heard so far. Um, one, it's the law that you're not to put your fetus in harm's way in any way that can lead to an abortion or miscarriage. Okay, so it's a shady law. I mean, I mean, it's a fallacy in and of itself. If you're appealing to law, slavery used to be law. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. But but it's a it's a fetus. It's not a, it's not a God. Honestly, if, if, I I wish I could get pregnant so I could just have an abortion for these people. Like seriously, like, it's a fetus. Come on, pe like I don't understand. Um. I really don't understand. Is like I, f I think Alabama is just really trying to be on the news every week. Is well, let, let me let me do you one further. Oh. The woman who shot her um, has been let go. She is not being charged with anything because yeah. they're saying she shot this woman in self defense. So that might be I true. I mean, honestly, if she attacks somebody, and I don't, I mean, it might be true. It might not be true, right? But if right. she if she was charged for attacking somebody, okay, unprovoked or something like that, or even provoked, I don't know. But if she was arrested for that, maybe like if she was in jail because she attacked this woman and the fact that she got shot was not part of the equation, right? That woman had the right. Maybe I'm not saying this happened. Like let's say let let's just say this was this is what happened. That woman had the right to shoot her because she was defending herself, and she was attacking the other woman. Good. Put her in jail for not good that that happened. I mean, uh, good call on arresting her and putting her in jail. But the fact that she's in jail because of the fetus, that's the insane part. I'm not saying she shouldn't be in jail for, you know, attacking somebody. If that was the reason, I don't know if this wouldn't be the news. The fact that she's in jail because of fetus, a fetus dying, that's just insane. 
Okay, but it also shows, this also shows that Alabama doesn't actually really care about punishing people who hurt fetuses. They care about women who put themselves in a position to hurt a fetus. A girl named Lindsay from our uh, from our closed group, I'm obviously not going to disclose the last name there to keep her privacy, uh, but she brought in an excellent point here. If fetuses are now starting to be looked at as, as people, and they have the rights of people, okay, then the person who did the shooting didn't aim the gun at the girl's head, didn't aim the gun at the girl's heart. This argument was over the baby's father. These two women were fighting over a man. Why did she pick up her gun and aim it at this woman's stomach that is aiming it at an innocent bystander? Uh -huh. And therefore, she should also be in jail for purposefully aiming the gun there. This is insane. Hmm. Can you can you uh, rob a bank with an abortion? Like, if you're pregnant, can you, like, have an abortion pill then go rob a bank and be like i'm my baby i'm gonna kill my baby if you don't give money like as a hostage or something like do they really think that the fetuses are actually like do you, like if you go if you um go to is it just fetuses or is it fertilized eggs as well like do they think a fertilized eggs is a few completely the same as a human um i think that that they do i do okay. think that they do but in the eyes of the law that becomes so much harder to prove because women uh, their bodies naturally can abort before they even knew they were ever pregnant, before hormones started to kick in. Fertilized eggs could just not stick to the uterine wall and just... So do these, do these people right. think, like, because I, I bet most Christians and I don't think they're consistent with their logic because, I mean, obviously they're not, but, but if the, if the, do these people think that women that get abortion should be executed? Because they do believe in execution for murder, right? Right. So if they don't I bet most of them don't think that women that get abortions should be executed. I think they should get a punishment, but not execution, right? So if they do think that they should go to jail, but not execution, then they themselves are saying fetuses are not the same as born humans. No? I, I agree with you. I think that... that do they... Uh, if, did, if, if, a, if a lab, like catches fire but this is somebody else that says like a lab uh, in alabama is catching fire and on one side you have like a thousand fertilized eggs right in a lab and another side you have a five-year-old child crying in the corner right do you save the thousand eggs or do you save the child because thousand people are right there right like which one like we have to ask go to alabama and ask these people but like which one do you save one five-year-old child or a thousand fertilized eggs I really think that this is like, in, in, I, okay, actually, you shouldn't say insane because mental illness, insane people, it's enough, uh, you know, uh, insane people um, have an excuse, okay? These people don't have any excuses. Uh, Bert is saying, how come so-called pro-lifers pro only care about the unborn life? Why not? Um, actually, I don't think that's a good th uh, thing because a lot of people say like, oh, these people only care about life um, before it's born. You can't say that. Um, some of them, you don't know, like some of these people that are anti-abortion, they might actually also go take care of the poor, uh, poor and maybe like, I don't know, they donate and they, they do care about the living as the the born as well, right? So don't be like... Well, they certainly don't pass laws to help them as often. Yeah, but I mean, you can find examples of both. I of think. course, so yeah. that's why, you know, you shouldn't be absolute in those statements. Yeah, don't but... be absolute in the same. Yeah, sorry, go on. No, yeah, that's all I wanted to say is just don't be absolute in your statements. If you wanted to say here's some proof of um, and show statistics of how many laws are passed preventing abortion, preventing, you know, stopping women from doing that versus how many laws the same party passes on feeding the homeless. Um, look at the state of Florida. It's, it's illegal to feed homeless people. Um, so, you know, look, look at look at the different laws that are passed preventing you from doing good things for people and then and then judge. But, you know, you need to have that proof. Don't make absolutes. Yuval is also suggesting another test. It's a, uh, he's saying a test for their perception of fetuses. Would they execute a pregnant woman and hence the fetus if she was found guilty with murder? Uh, Brittany is saying she also didn't go to the hospital after she was shot. She instead ha hopped in a car. Uh, someone was waiting for her in and was driven to the next city. The police found her and then gave her medical attention. Yeah, Brittany, we're not defending her choices. 
Uh, we're not saying she made the best decisions. We just don't think maybe she should be in jail for other reasons. We just think that it's insane if she's in jail for the fetus dying, right? Um, Christian is saying, I'm reading all of the comments saying it was self-defense. Call me crazy, but I don't think shooting an unarmed pregnant woman in the stomach should quite uh, should quite qualify as self defense. Well, Christine, we don't know really what happened. It might if somebody is coming on arm. If somebody is coming with you at the screw with a screwdriver and trying to stab your eye, and you have a gun, you might shoot them. So I don't like maybe she did, maybe the person that had self. I like. I, do you know exactly what happened? I don't, we don't know exactly what happened. We, we no. There's we no way. So no, exactly. don't be like, oh, unarmed lady, shoot them in the pregnant woman, shoot them in the stomach. You, di I, we don't know what happened. She, maybe that woman that shot her didn't have a good excuse. Maybe she had a good excuse. So don't just judge stuff because she was pregnant and because some one of them had a gun and the other one didn't. Um, so Christine is saying she, sh she could have used equal or reasonable force. She could have shot her in the leg if she absolutely felt she had no alternative but to shoot, but shooting her in the stomach. Seriously, I, okay, Christine, if I, I honestly, if somebody's coming at me with a screwdriver or whatever, I have a gun, I don't think I'm trained enough to be like, let me make a calculated decision of shooting this person in the right place for me not to kill them, but make them you know, enable to attack me. I think in the moment of you defending yourself, you might do crazy things, right? Um, and also, if they're coming at the screwdriver and I have a screwdriver and a gun next to me, I'm not going to be like, well, it's unfair for me to pick a gun right now because they're coming at me with a screwdriver. No, I'm not going to use equal force to keep the fight fair. If somebody is going to stab me with a screwdriver, I'm going to pick up the gun and make sure I don't lose the fight, okay? Um, I, I, I'm not advocating for violence, Unless it's is for saving your life when somebody is attacking you, okay? I don't. I'm not saying what. I don't know what happened here. Maybe she. It was unjust that she got shot, right? Please don't take this. Somebody don't cut this out and make make it seem like I'm advocating for shooting people, right? But if somebody is trying to kill me, all right, I'm gonna do everything in my power to stop them. I don't care if it's fair at that point. A crazy person is trying to kill me. Um, so I'm saying the woman had her faults, but it is still true that she is being charged for being the victim of a shooting instead of the others. We don't know if she was a victim. It, it whatever charges she gets, she should it shouldn't be for the sake of the fetus. It should be for other reasons. That's all I'm saying. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.